Hello? So, I, I just found out that so you can utilize Visual Studio Code for changing the branches. So last time I show you how to how to change the git git branches from the command line but but you can easily change without use without using command line argument with Visual Studio Code. I just I just found out. So you go you go inside you you download the you download the source code from the uh GitHub and then and then you go in you you open that folder inside your Visual Studio like this guy. So I already opened it and then this is my Visual Studio code version. Currently I'm at one point one point fifty seven zero. So that's that's my current version and then you can you can see that so it was that's at the latest one I I updated. So and then if you go inside down here, I believe you may need its extension. Let me search. Install one. I believe you you have a git. Git. I think git is already inside. Yep, I think I think I haven't installed anything fine. So you you just go there and then otherwise you, you install the plugin as Visual Studio Code recommended. So just use the official one. So and then I think that's better one. So so you click on here and then you 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 will get all the branches that I have ever made. So kindly if we switch to master, so that's a master one and then you can see you can see by differences between the between the you know screenshot and the tutorial SQA or something like that. So and then if you switch it back to the zero one that's template and then you see that there is less less files so so this is the initial starting point so we'll be i'll be using on so i'll be using that one inside my 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 tutorial so like i don't want you to be confused and i'll be typing exactly same variables and i'm not sure about the same line but i i, I promise to use same progress and the same name without changing you know normally when you when you are coding the names coming out from your uh your mind is completely different from the others so you you won't be using same names so so i'll be using same same name but i uh, please i uh, please follow the same name and then you you may be seeing the different different line numbers and something like that but I'll be I'll try I'll try my best sometimes I copy and paste it so you you know where where to get so that's how you can change so you can change to any branch at any time so you don't have to do you don't have to be master in command git command line and then that one's a little bit overwhelming because of if you are not familiar with command line arguments and then if you don't if you haven't set up properly and then you you have a lot of I mean has it. So that's the best way to you to follow like what I'm typing if you are just watching. So that's good start and then you can switch to any brand by cl just click. So that's it. So bye for now and then tune for next tutorial.